Assalamu alaikum, Sayyidi Abu Salah, I'm from US Peace, and uh, Noah, from US Peace. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have a question concerning the path of God, and um, we face a lot of hardships on the path of God, and the question is, do we, are we going to face these hardships all the time? Or will we some at some point stop fighting this darkness that we find in this world? That's up to the the individual. I mean, this this path can be extremely hard, or it can be extremely easy. Um, we see examples of this uh, in the stories of the prophets and the messengers. We have an incident where. Um, Moses, as he's getting ready to cross uh, with the Israelites, uh, they encounter this giant sea. Uh, for most of the Israelites, they were in a state of terror and a, and a state of doubt. They looked at the sea in front of them and they said, Moses brought us here to, to get killed. And they saw Pharaoh and his soldiers at a distance coming at them. They said, we're goners for sure. This is it. And it was extremely difficult for them to gather enough faith uh, in them to trust Moses and to carry on on the path. And we see that uh, even though that the sea split and they saw these miracles, uh, they went wandering around for 40 years in the desert. Mm -hmm. They see all these great miracles, but for 40 years they're in a state of doubt. And they're like, I don't know, maybe he's true, maybe he's not true. Maybe he's talking to God, maybe it's a trick. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's false, maybe it's true. Until it gets to the point where uh, God commands them, okay, here we are at the doors of the promised land. Go ahead and go inside. And they say, uh, we're not going to go inside. Actually, Moses, you take your Lord and you go fight them. But we see something else happening with some of the other believers. Joshua ibn Nun, uh, he was an amazing believer. And it was extremely easy for him. Uh, back when they were getting ready to cross the Red Sea, Joshua, he goes running on the ocean. He has that much yaqeen. And it's his yaqeen and trust in God and his faith that allowed him to actually walk on water. He was walking on water much before Jesus Christ. And uh, when it came time for them to invade uh, the Philistines and after the Israelites rejected Joshua ibn Nun, God is the one, he chose Joshua and made him uh, be the one who actually leads that next generation of Israelites into there. So for Joshua, I think the path was easy. For the Israelites, it was hard. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad وآله, he said that we would follow the same sunnahs as those who came before us. So I think that there will be believers that will choose to have it hard on this path, and other believers that will choose to have it easy on this path. So that's the um, that's the message. Thank you so Thank much, Ismail. So Thank you very much.